Welcome once again everybody, it's Brian Terry and from the Disability Digest here. Happy Friday. Uh, today I want to talk to you about Social Security Disability and Job and Income Opportunities. Um, lots of questions flowing in, my check is tight, I'm bored, I need to find something to do, what can I do, etc. Um, or can I do it and keep my benefits? So I'm going to start with that. Um, if you're approved for Social Security Disability, uh, yes, you can work and earn up to the allowed limit, which at the time of this recording, I have the regulation over here, and I'm going to put it below uh, the replay of this, is um, $940 a month. So first of all, you can earn $940 a month and totally keep your Social Security Disability benefits and your Medicare. It's your responsibility, according to your award letter, to let Social Security know that you're going to work. So this is if you have a job or even if you're just starting like a business, they advise to do that so that you're not going to raise any flags. Um, and the $940 a month is uh, if you're working as an employee like uh, at a Walmart or a local store and you're getting paid hourly, it is your gross amount of money that you make on a monthly basis. So you want to make sure you stay below that. If you're doing something as a independent contractor, um, then it would be the $940 is your uh, income after expenses. So you take your expenses, uh, less, uh, reduce uh, that uh, down from your income, and that's what you come up with. And it's based on your annual, uh, your 12 months of tax filing. So uh, you can earn, have a little more flexibility if you're doing that. So um, in general, what I see out there uh, are uh, an increased amount of uh, job openings that are available uh, for companies and the reason for that is, or for individuals I should say, is that our landscape has changed up kind of getting into the getting uh, post-COVID if you will, which kind of seems weird to say, but uh, I do definitely get that vibe. Companies have become comfortable with the work at home type environment. Uh, many of them are going to stay committed to this. Um, there's some industries that are just taking off and they're looking to add people. And so they're looking into different creative labor pools, uh, moms that work part-time shifts and others that can work at home. So there's a lot of jobs. I know that because there's companies that we partner with um, that put people back to work that um, are disability recipients that have more jobs than they do applicants, right? So, um, somebody, oh, I, I just went over the monthly earnings. Um, it's $940 a month, but thanks for the pop-up on the question. And I'll put the regulation below once again. So, there's jobs, there's openings, uh, just trying to get everybody uh, partnered with them. So, we have companies that we work with that we refer individuals out, and then we have work that we have here, which I'll talk more about uh, in a minute. The common uh, positions that are available require somebody to have a home office setup, which is like a computer, um, and usually headphones because you're going to be doing some type of uh, work or meetings um, uh, on the phone, and high-speed internet access, which commonly is uh, wireless is not adequate enough. You need actually an ethernet cable that plugs into the side of your computer. So those are the kind of the requirements to work for companies. So some of the companies that we partner with, they have contracts with the IRS, uh, roadside assistance, pharmaceutical companies, Amazon, and you would be taking uh, inbound calls. So you would need to be set up to manage the calls and have the right uh, computer equipment to do so. Some companies will provide you with this equipment. And in some instances, if you don't have the equipment, you can get the equipment from Voc Rehab or some type of uh, resource assistance to get going uh, in there, right? Um, so the second type work is here at the Disability Digest. Our business is just booming and we're looking to add new people 
uh, that we refer to as advocates and advocates work in an environment like this at home um, and we work with individuals like many of you that are out there um, to help you get your benefits and keep your benefits and maximize your benefits so uh, we have different levels of uh, advocates that can work here uh, part-time a little more than part-time um, and up but we have them the position structured so that you stay within the earning limits at shift work you work on a team here so if you can't go on a certain day that you're scheduled another team member hopefully can step in and cover for you so we compensate for or attempt to compensate for the understanding that oftentimes the condition that one has dictates their ability to work or not so that's how we uh, have found to to work around that so that's very general ideas and what what is out there for availability so uh, if you're a member here at the disability digest just of course you can contact us by replying to any of the emails um, and say that I'm interested in working can you direct me to where I can find the positions and apply um, if you're not a member here at the Disability Digest, then we invite you to join us. Uh, if this is your interest to uh, supplement your disability and keep your benefits, or maybe you're just looking to get your benefits started, or uh, you just want to know how to maximize your check and you don't want to do any work, I get it. Or you don't feel that you can do work because working is not for everybody. Some conditions just don't provide for it then uh, join us as a member. Membership is free here. We're like a radio or a TV station. We have ads and sponsors and services that we provide you uh, that don't cost you anything uh, that allow us to continue this work and for me to come out here and donate this time, if you will, uh, to help uh, individuals that are getting their disability or on their disability benefits. So again, thank you. This is Brian Terrian. We try to be here every Friday. Uh, so stay tuned for future ones and we look forward to having you join us as a member if you're not or if you are a member we'd love to hear from you make it a great day thanks